If I can find running water in Central Australia, then surely I can find some ancient seabed hidden fossils. I'm gonna combine three fossil hunting trips into one just for you. Obviously, you can't find fossils just anywhere. So I did some research and figured out most fossils here are found in something called a Pacuta sandstone formation, and also a Horn Valley siltstone formation. And when I find those together and I hike there, I find fossil gold. So back when this was a sea and there was water here, you have some mud that dries. And when mud dries in a flat area, it cracks. It makes all these big cracks and seams. I finally found a rock, this one here, that's got some trilobite pieces that are definitely fossilized inside. So right here, look for these little ridges on the backs of what were the trilobites. Is it just me, or does this truck have a little bit of that Pac-Man fever? Okay, here's a really good example of the worm trail. So when the worms went through the mud and the seabed, they left these little trails. No fossils in here. So everyone's been to the sea probably, and you've noticed where the sand is and the water meet, they make these ripples in the sand. Well, this rock is an example of that. And in this case, it fossilized many, many years ago. <laughs> kind of cool. If you notice on the ground behind this rock, there is another large ripple stone back here. I found some more trilobite fossils. Um, in addition to all of this, right here, I got some more worm trails on this particular rock. Right behind me, I've got some more of the ripple rocks going on. Uh, right there. As they like to say in Australia, this is a beauty. So I'm in a different geological strata now, and this one's called the Horn Valley Siltstone. And there's different types of fossils here. These are called gastropods. These are types of shells that were fossilized. Uh, here's another one here in this rock that I just picked up. And then we have a really nice one here that's been fossilized in this stone. Pretty cool. These are actually a type of um, ancient algae in the seabed that formed, that grew, and this got fossilized into a piece of rock. Uh, these are called uh, nautiloids. And nautiloids are these round, they were old squids. Um, that got fossilized. So imagine, if you will, a lot of these all attached together in a long row. And on the end, there was tentacles that came out. And so they were basically um, a pretty good predator on the ocean floor. There comes the moment when you have to decide what's stronger your desire to find more fossils or your desire to escape these maddening outback flies. <sniffs> Tastes just like chicken.